welcome students now we are going to see the histology of male reproductive system so in the male reproductive system la nama paaka pora enna na slides paapinga appadina testis epididymis vas deferens then accessory sex glands are irukka kudiya seminal vesicle and prostate so what are the important character appadinradha ipa paaka porom so first vandu testis so testis la important character appdin paathinga na so you all know it is a male sex gonad so ipa inga enna irukano appadina germinal epithelium irukano so developing spermatogonia different stages la develop aayittu irukkudiya spermatogonia oda character da nama inga testis la paaka porom so as a gland gonad it is surrounded by one capsule next we will see many sections of seminiferous tubules so many sections of seminiferous tubules inga paakrom and each seminiferous tubules consist of germinal epithelium in the germinal epithelium la naama paakrathu different stages of development la irukka koodiya spermatogonia so the basal level la paakumbodhu type a edhaadhu primary spermatogonia irukum so the spermatogonia la nndu primary spermatocyte vandu then primary spermatocyte la nndu secondary spermatocyte then secondary spermatocytes la nndu then through meiosis moolama spermatids release aaganum so different stages of development of spermatogonia va nama paaka porom so each seminiferous tubules are lined by several layers of cell which consist of developing spermato gonia then you will see the supporting cells so supporting cells of this spermatogonia so all the spermatogonia and other they are resting on the one larger cell that is otherwise called as sertoli cells the sertoli cells are supporting cells for this seminiferous tubules then other than the seminiferous tubules you will see interstitium of the testis in the interstitium of the testis la once again you will see one another special type of cells otherwise called as interstitial cells of leydig abdin paapinga so this interstitial cells of leydig na it releases the testosterone so in your moonu vidamana cells paakrom what are the three cells abdin paatha different stages of development la irukka koodiya spermatogonia paakrom then towards the lumen poga poga in the luminal level la you will see the spermatids whereas at the basal level la spermatogonia irukka podu this arrangement is supported by one large cell that is otherwise called as sertoli cells then outer to the seminiferous tubules in between the tubules you will see the interstitium of the testis in the interstitium la nama paaka koodiya or cell special type of cells enna na interstitial cells of leydig that is responsible for secretion of testosterone this is the important things you have to know about the testis then next poitom na epididymis so epididymis abindrathu it is a storage organ so pa enna irukum abindna here once again you will see see all these structures are highly coiled structures so when you take the cut section you will see many tubular characters like this so in the epididymis you will see the lumen of the epididymis so you will see many ducts so cut sections of many ducts of epididymis which are lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium with the stereocilia so edhukku indha stereocilia venum appadina for beating so for movement of the to give movement to this sperms this ducts are lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium with the stereocilia so then in the lumen you will see clumps of spermatids so sperms clumps inge irukum so testis la paakumbodhu anga different layer different level of development la irukka koodiya spermatocytes paapinga but in the epididymis la paakumbodhu inge characteristic feature you will see many ducts and with each ducts are lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium with the stereocilia and within the lumen you will see the clumps of spermatozoa so pseudo stratified so it nalla but what are the types of cells in paapinga na inga basal cells nu onnu irukum then principal cells that is a simple column na basal cell nradhu it is a dwarf cells so this is the important thing you have to know about the epididymis so column epithelium na inga important pseudo stratified columnar epithelium with the stereocilia and in the lumen you will see the clumps of spermatozoa then next character is your vas deferens once again this is also a highly coiled structure so it is a tubular structures once again what is the epithelium so this is made up of the following layers from inner to outer mucosa then muscular layer then adventitial layer so here the mucosa is thrown into folds here also you will see one star shaped lumen 
So, the main character between this and the ureter is the lining epithelium, here the lining epithelium is the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium, whereas on the ureter it is only transitional epithelium or urothelium. So, here this is not simple columnar, the vast difference is, is lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Then next to the, the epithelium is resting on the lamina propria. Then next to that you will see the muscular layer, typical arrangement of inner longitudinal, middle circular and the outer longitudinal. So, GI tract layer arrangement in the reproductive tract layer arrangement the difference in the action is a, like a peristaltic movement. So, a slow rhythmic wave action. So, in the GI tract for that purpose kaga inner circular and outer longitudinal arrangement of muscle fibers So, due to the action of that smooth muscles peristaltic movement and the niya But in the vast difference in the ureter in the inner longitudinal outer longitudinal in between these two longitudinal layer middle circular because here the action is sudden jerk and propulsive action of the sudden ejaculation action here the structural arrangement of the smooth muscle fibers are inner longitudinal outer longitudinal in between these two one middle circular then outer adventitial layer is consist of collagen fibers and some smooth muscles that is all. So, this is about the vast difference star once again it is also a tubular structure with the mucous membrane thrown into folds. So, there is a star shaped lumen, lining epithelium is pseudo stratified columnar epithelium that is all. The next thing is your seminal vesicle. So, seminal vesicle is a, a sac like structure which is a glandular structure for secretion, it is a accessory sexual organ. So, this is a sac like structure which is once again thrown into many coils. So, when you take section you will see many sections of convoluted tubular kernala you will see so many sections of this seminal vesicle tubule. So, once again it is lined by a simple or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and the mucosa is once again thrown into many folds. So, in your path different cut section. So, in your section of seminal vesicle tube, in your section of tube, it is a simple sac though, but it is a smaller sac which is situated on the base of the bladder which is thrown into many folds. So, when you take section you will see many sections. So, many cut sections in your pakrana, in your section, in your section, in your section. So, inner to outer once again mucosa then muscular layer and then adventitia. In the mucosa, here you will see the mucosa is thrown into folds which is lined by the simple or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium resting on the lamina propria. Then when you see the muscular coat only two inner circular and outer longitudinal the next adventitial coat that is all. So, seminal vesicle is a simple sac like structure na? it is one of the accessory sexual gland. Then next character is your prostate once again this is also a accessory sexual gland organ, but it is the largest one when compared to seminal vesicle. So, this is the largest accessory sexual organ of the male reproductive system. So, as a gland, so any gland character or capsule or capsule and the septa or septa divide the gland into many lobules and papo. Then the supportive framework is stroma and the secretory framework is parenchyma and the typical features are in papo. So, it is lined by a capsule and then the stroma here it is made up of fibromuscular stroma, usually stroma under the connective tissue and papenge. In the character abdina, it is made up of fibromuscular stroma. So, you will see smooth muscle fibers along with the collagen and the elastic fibers and then parenchyma is a tubulo acinous gland. So, many tubulo acinous glands. Here the tubular glands you will see the mucosa which is once again thrown into folds. Usually acinous and rather than characteristic or typical or rounded structure they are lined by columnar cells with a lumen popping. The characteristic feature of the prostate in a 
you thin the acini the mucosa is thrown into folds once again so it is lined by the capsule from the capsule septa enter into the gland and it is divide the gland into many lobules within the lobules you will see many glandular epithelium here the glandular epithelium it is thrown into folds abd into the park ring once again it is lined by simple or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and the stroma is a fibromuscular stroma abd into the papo the characteristic feature of the prostate into the nn park ring this round structure which is otherwise called as corpus corpora amylaceae or amyloid body abd into the park ring so this corpora amylaceae is a characteristic feature of the prostate gland இதே மாதிரி ஒரு கேரக்டர் நீங்க லிம்பாட்டிக் சிஸ்டம் படிக்கும் போது the collections of congresions as a hazels corpuscles அப்படினு சொல்லிட்டு எங்க பாத்துるபீங்க அப்படினா இந்த தைமஸ்ல பாத்துるபீங்க அதே மாதிரி பீனியல் கிளாண்ட்னு ஒரு எண்டோக்ரைன் கிளாண்ட் பாக்கும் போது கார்போரா அரினேசியே அப்படினு ஒன்னு பாப்பீங்க சோ இதெல்லாம் இந்த கான்கிரீஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन्स this amyloid body or corpora amyloidaceae அப்படிங்கிறது it is a sign of old age so age increase ah ah in the corpora amyloidaceae va neenga nariya paakalam so this is a characteristic feature of the prostate so irregular acinar units they are lined by simple or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium the mucosa is thrown into folds and the stroma consist of muscular fiber also so fibro muscular stroma these are all the important things you have know about the prostate So in next class we are going to see about the histology of female reproductive system.